Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And this is groundbreaking day in Coronado. Try not to be distracted by the view. We're um, at a beautiful bayfront property and it is freezing. It's February, mid-February. I, I mean, I don't know how all y'all do this like on the daily. It's like 57 degrees. It's, uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know if we're gonna be able to continue. I don't know at what point hypothermia sets in. I am not experienced with cold weather. I have to tell you I'm a little afraid right now. So um, give me some pointers and tips. You people that deal with this 57 degree Fahrenheit thing like all the time throughout the winter, <laughs> I don't know. But we are going to bear down and stick it out. Um, let's talk. We have got in this bed here, some uh, Plantus runamuccus. Take a look. See, you know, this is, this is what happens when you plant a really cute little one gallon rosette and five or six years pass and you don't do anything to it. This is normal, don't panic. You can take and cut, you know, the little tops off of this if you want. And then you have these little cute pieces to reset. You can take the whole thing and rip it out um, and get rid of it. I mean, it's really up to you. I can see some mealybug. This is not real healthy. There's a lot of damage on these. So, you know, I'll likely just start over with this whole hot mess right here. We've got what looks like some type of aloe speciosa here that's just getting ready to bloom. This is magnificent. All I will do is clean this up. This is aloe blue elf. No, it isn't. It's aloe brevifolia. This is a really great plant, but this is what happens to it over time. It's, it dies back from the base, and this can be a little tricky to keep clean. Uh, that's the only downside that I have to this plant. We've got aloe cynthia giddy, a Dorothea, Dorothe, Dorothea here. I love this plant. And we have lots and lots of portolacaria. And I love me some portolacaria, but there's a little too much of it, so I'll be reducing that. We are going to reinvent the beds around the palm trees. Look at these bromeliads. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my gosh. But again, a lot of portolacaria. We're gonna reduce it. Um, the client has pots of begonia. Think how incredible these would look with some specimen succulents, but she wants to try cutting the begonia back first. So we're gonna cut the begonia back and see what happens. Maybe next time I come, we can rip them out and do what I want. Once again, got some good things. We've got some caprosma or mirror plant going in here. I love mirror plant. This is one of my succulent compatible. Great plant. Uh, Lantana, this is going to go, a lot of the portolacaria will go. The client loves her orchids because these bloom almost year round, so they will stay. Here's a really neat shade garden. We aren't going to mess with any of the trees, they're fabulous, but the client does want us to pull these potted plants into the design space which i think is a really great idea so we're going to take them out of the pots we're going to bring in some soil because it's going to be very thatchy with all of the roots from all the trees so we'll bring up the soil level in places we'll plant these succulents and bromeliads and bring a lot more color and pop into this shade area i'm going to be reinventing these pots this looks uh looks like bilbergia to me, which is a type of bromeliad. It just, it's, it's a hot mess. So this is coming out, this is gonna be made new. I'll move the uh, Aeonium Zwartkopf into another area. Client isn't real thrilled with this Sansevieria cylindrica. She doesn't like this plant, so it may get a new home. Aloe pink vigie, it's kind of bugging me. I mean, it's a beautiful plant, but this pot is just, yikes, I, I need to fix it. Um, here's a Laura Petalum. 
Not sure what the idea was here, but this is going. And then we're gonna tighten up this bed in here. So, there you have it. If we can survive the cold, we will continue uh, to persevere. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from Coronado, California with your succulent tip of the day and day one of a two-day renovation and maintenance.